Number four, you now begin to experience a drastic reduction from the fear of death. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. Since the children, all of us have flesh and blood, Jesus, too, shared in their humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. So the fear of death drastically is reduced. Now, I don't have time to show you all the studies that basically almost all humans, even the ones who say there are atheists, in fact, they may fear death even more because for an atheist, there's like, oh, there's no afterlife. So this is the only life I have. So war and disease and accidents scare me to death because I might die tomorrow and then it's all over. Now, I do want to tell you that Yes, Christians, sometimes, I, I've been at the deathbed of many believers. There are some believers that I'm, I'm telling you, it's incredible. If they have a fear of death, you would not know it. They are praising the Lord. They're like, how soon can I go home to heaven? Why am I still here in this hospital bed? I can't wait to get there. And there are other Christians that are a little bit fearful, but it's funny, as I read scriptures and reassure, that fear goes away. But believe me, I've been by the bedside of people that aren't believers, and, and whoo, the fear? But I get the privilege often of leading them to Jesus, and you should see the peace that comes upon them. Well, it's, it's, there's a transformation that occurs that the fear of death is just drastically lowered in a person's life when you come to the Lord. 